What's up everybody? Uh, this is going to be the garage tour and uh, my Subaru WRX walk around video. I forgot to bring my GoPro today so I'm filming this off my phone so hopefully it's still pretty good quality. Um, but we shall find out. Alright so to start off this isn't my house. Uh, my dad owns a business he builds these uh, security fences and oh I wonder if I can zoom in on this. Ooh, I can. Uh, he builds these security fences and um, so he has a shop and basically let me turn around it's a three bay shop and basically I just get the first bay um, and I'll walk in there in a few minutes after I show you guys my car alright guys so it's a 2013 Subaru WRX and it's a sedan and it's graphite or gray whatever you want to call it and also this video um, shout out to Josh O everything on the outside is pretty much stock um, stock wheels stock brakes but really everything stock besides the uh, window tint and I have one percent earth it's five percent but it meters down to one percent um, and then this car came with the uh, SPC or SPT Subaru performance tuning package which I don't really know what it what it does other than just the carbon fiber trim and um, my muffler that is a Nvidia N1 race cat back all right, so we're gonna start off from the uh, from the trunk and work our way up. I pretty much already told you guys what I had, but um, I'll do it again anyway. My trunk's fucking messy. Forget the beer over there. All right, um, I have an audio cube. Well, it used to be called audio cube. Now it's called sound cubed. Um, I have a. It's just one 12 inch. My box I built myself. That's why the carpet's coming undone. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, but no, the box sounds good. It's a two point six uh, cubic feet and it's tuned to 34 hertz um, I might be able to play that for you guys and let's see inside it's messy right now I should have cleaned it before this video but I uh, didn't get enough time to do that inside I've got a uh, Pioneer uh, double den um, head unit I've got my Cobb shift knob and I've got a short throw shifter um, it's really short <laughs> and then I got the base knob for the uh, for my subwoofer oh I forgot to say um, the tires instead of the stock 235s all the way around I have a uh, Hankook Venice Speed 12 the Evo 2s um, and they're 245s all the way around and I like them the sidewalls are a little a little soft but other than that um, they're good tires so we go to the engine bay Oh, let me show you one more thing before the engine bay. I forgot to tell you guys. I actually got a a hitch put on. Uh, let's see, right there, if you can see it. Uh, it's a U-Haul hitch. Uh, that way I can pull my R6 around, or if I get any other bike. <laughs> um, Alright, on to the engine bay. Uh, everything's stock. Besides, obviously the red top. Uh, ultimate red top. This is my power wire for the uh, subwoofer. And then I've got the Cobb SF intake with the air box. Um, let's see. I've got the NVIDIA uh, Catalyst downpipe, which is that's why I'm over boosting if you guys were wondering because it's you know it's too cold outside and the tune is not for a Catalyst downpipe, it's for a Cata downpipe. Um, so I need to get that fixed. And then I have the uh, the Cobb um, OTS Stage 2 map on there. So anyways, I'm going to um, start the car up for you guys and let you guys hear it. Let's see what else I can talk about. 
Uh, I'll see if I can play the subwoofer. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear it though. I found an all right song to show you guys. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it for my car um, I'm gonna move on to I got my Glock 26 in there <laughs> but uh, anyways I'm gonna move on to the garage now all right on to the garage it's not a professional shop or anything um, just what I've got and uh, Josh O wanted to ask me if I could make a video on it so I said sure um, starting off you know we just have a have a lift challenger lift uh, it works great uh, it's definitely a lot better than jack stands um, this is the 240, my 1992 Nissan 240SX. Um, currently, still need the one JZ that I'm gonna be putting it, putting in it. But other than that, it's uh, it's coming together pretty good. Um, here's like my here's like the bike section. Uh, I've got my 2010 R6 right there. Boom boom. That's whenever I I fell. Um, that's before I got the frame sliders, unfortunately, so I fucked up. Um, got some steel braided lines that I put on there before I went to the track day. And then here's my 2012 uh, Kawasaki KX250. Um, here, uh, there's a 8 gallon tank right there. Boom, you like him? Hell yeah. <laughs> There's some trophies. I used to race dirt bikes, if you guys didn't know. Um, so I got a lot of trophies. And here's just, you know, your normal toolbox. You know, I just got some random shit up at the top. I got my wrenches. Uh, I got my sockets and shit. Uh, I got my screwdrivers. Got some just miscellaneous shit. Um, like I said, it's nothing professional, you know, it's just just what I've got, um, and it works. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't know what else to say about the garage part. I mean, I've got, we got two speakers up there, I don't know, so you can see them, boom, boom. And it's about 60 degrees out today, so I think I'm about to actually get on this, uh, get on the R6 today, and see if I can make a vlog. Hopefully I can, uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it turned out well, and I hope you guys liked it. So, if you can, help me out, and let's get a thousand subscribers by next week. By Monday, hopefully. I almost just busted my ass. So yeah, once again, guys, leave a comment in the bottom. Hit that red subscribe button if you liked it. And, um, yeah, pretty much it. Stay positive, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.